Well, hi there, just doing a little bit of a different video today. Um, you know, fine art can take various forms. And so I wanna show you a pinball machine that I made, a homemade pinball machine. This was for our church's uh, version of Halloween. We call it Hallelujah Night. And my wife basically came up with this idea where several people in our church would have um, games in their back seats of their car, their trunks of their car. And uh, I decided to make a pinball game that I could have here in the back of the truck. And uh, something that the kids were able to play with and just have a great time. Um, <laughs> it took a little bit of time to do, but uh, it was fun, you know, took some scrap wood that I had and cut it up and uh, kind of assembled a board and then painted it using, of course, my Nova Color art paints and then put Christmas tree lights underneath. And I have these uh, flippers, you know, that you just push and they snap back into place with rubber bands. And uh, I had to buy a pinball, of course. You know, that was one of the few things I had to buy to get it to work. But you can see, you know, this will actually uh, flip the ball up and it'll do different things. <laughs> Oh, you hit it. You hit the bell. You'll get a nice ding here with that kind of hitting. Yeah, that was, that was good. Use physics and hit it just on the tip. Yeah, woohoo! Oh, wow, you're a rock star. There you go again. So it's kind of fun. Um, but I just want to show this to you, a little bit of a quick video, and you can see maybe just a bit of the process here, um, how I assembled it and how I painted it. Um, and I came up with this design myself. Of course, this is Goliath. I don't know if you can see that it might be in reverse because of my camera. But uh, the object, of course, is to hit Goliath in the head. And uh, when, when they hit him, uh, it dings, the bell dings. And so it gives them kind of a reward for doing that. Uh, but just a fun little thing, side project. I don't plan on going into the pinball machine business, but uh, this actually is pretty much fully functional, as you can see. I mean, you can pull this spring back, and that'll come flying out. And uh, you can then do some of the pinball action here. Of course, it's a little difficult to do <laughs> while I'm recording the video, but you get the idea. So I just want to share this with you and just let you know what I've been up to, um, getting back to doing some portraits, 30 minute acrylic portraits and more of the fine art kind of stuff of my business. But this is just a fun little project for the kids. So anyway, thanks for watching today. Like and subscribe if you like this video, um, share it with your friends, try some different things. You know, it's kind of fun just to see what can be done. Um, doesn't always have to be super realistic art. This is more of a comic book style, but um, just fun to see what you can do and create different things using your artistic skills. Uh, but the kids had a great time. They really enjoyed it. And so uh, it was a success. It was worth it uh, to take this time and build something like this for the kids and then probably give this to uh, our church and let them use it in there for the youth. But anyway, thanks for watching this. God bless. We'll talk to you soon.